Kentucky's Republican-backed pension reform bill cleared its first hurdle in Frankfurt today. Now, the bill looks to repair Kentucky's ailing public pension system that experts say currently faces a nearly $40 billion funding shortfall. ABC 36's Kelsey Thorwood was there as state lawmakers voted on the bill. She has this report from the state capitol. During their committee meeting here in Frankfurt, lawmakers gave first approval to Senate Bill 1. That's the bill that looks to overhaul the state's pension system. But they didn't do it without fierce opposition from dozens of teachers who packed the room, sparring with senators as they cast their vote. We have a motion and a... It's illegal! Ladies and gentlemen, please. Shouts of anger came from the swarm of teachers at Wednesday's Senate committee meeting as they berated lawmakers for passing Senate Bill 1. The bill, which passed committee with a 7 to 4 vote, is upsetting teachers for a variety of reasons, including the fact that the bill reduces the cost of living raise for retired teachers from 1.5% to 1%. I'm not sure how they feel disrespected. Uh, because I met with several retired teachers. In fact, I had I saw some of them here when we talked about the earlier process. They were very comfortable with what we were talking about back in August and September. We will continue to do our jobs in public schools because that's what our communities expect and deserve. But we also expect and deserve for the legislators to do their part in finding funding so that we can do our jobs. While hosting Vice President Mike Pence just down the road in Versailles, Governor Matt Bevin did not hold back with how he felt about this pension controversy. The reality is this, I'm saving the pension system. If they're upset about it, it's because they're either ill-informed or willfully blind. I think the vast majority of teachers are none of the above. Senate President Stivers tells me he expects this bill to get a full vote on the Senate floor either by the end of this week or early next week. And if approved by the Senate, of course, then it will go to the House. Reporting in Frankfurt, I'm Kelsey Thorit, ABC 36 News.